Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to today's jailbreak update video. Now today we have some awesome news pertaining to an iOS 12.1 jailbreak as well as an iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 jailbreak for those of you who remained on iOS 11. All right, well, let's get directly into the news. Before we do, definitely give this video a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to stay updated on future updates pertaining to jailbreaking and also check out our best tech info article pertaining to this information. All right, so skipping past that, let's get directly into the news. Starting off, we have news pertaining to iOS 12 exploits. Now this news comes directly from Typhanu Cup. I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce that, but it says successful exploit again by 360 Security. They gained full access to the iPhone 10 through a type confusion JIT bug in Safari and a UAF bug in the kernel. It's the first iPhone jailbreak in a pwn contest in the world, winning the highest reward at the Typhanu Cup. I'm guessing this is some sort of competition, but it's by the developer, sorry, my bad. Now, if we go back to sorry, my bad's Twitter account right here, he is a part of the 360 Vulcan team. They haven't released too much in the past, but the most interesting part about all this information is that he says he will release information after it's fixed. So if you want a research iPhone, stay on iOS 12.1. Now this is some of the first news that we have working iOS 12.1 exploits and that they're potentially going to be released to the public once Apple has fixed them. Again, this is by a member of the 360 Vulcan security research team, so it will have to go through the approval process, getting patched by Apple before we see any of this information be released, but it's just incredible that we have more developers, more exploits, and more people on the scene essentially jailbreaking and exploiting iOS 12.1. So that is incredible news. Some more developers yet again um, on the iOS 12 jailbreak scene. Now, if we go back to Yuming, who also is working on iOS 12 jailbreak exploits, he actually performed a demo, which I talked about in one of my recent videos, so check that out if you guys want more information about that. But interestingly enough, he tweeted this out just a day ago, saying, just to reiterate, do not upgrade to iOS 12 if you want to jailbreak anytime soon. iOS 11.x, even greater than or equal to 11.4 is fine. So I'm guessing this means iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 could be receiving some awesome exploits here by this developer. It's really surprising to me that he is not releasing his exploits for iOS 12. Who knows, they might actually work, but it sounds like iOS 11 is going to be a lot easier to jailbreak or to take these exploits and put them into a utility for the end user. Again, who knows, we'll have to wait and see exactly what this developer releases. He's been working on some awesome exploits and doing some awesome research on his own time. Again, he just performed a jailbreak demonstration on iOS 12.1, like I just talked about in my last video. So we'll have to wait and see exactly what he is releasing. It sounds like what he's been working on will work on iOS 11, and it might be a lot easier to take those exploits and put them into something like Uncover or Electra a lot quicker than it would be to develop an entire new utility for iOS 12. Anyway, guys, that is just the quick update I wanted to share with you today. Sounds like we have some awesome news pertaining to an iOS 12.1 jailbreak. More developers coming to the scene, potentially going to be releasing more exploits. We have actually some news about an iOS 11.4 and 11.4.1 jailbreak. So hopefully in the near future, again, this is the big hype train, but hopefully we will be receiving a new jailbreak utility sooner than later. Again, we will keep you updated here at iCrack Your Eye Device. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you want to stay updated when new things come out. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed today's video and definitely check out our best tech info article for more information. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching today's quick video, but until next time, this is Tony signing out.